fashion felines. Join spa living and style expert Candy Holiday as she trips through her days while trying to flourish, look fab and have a blast, even when life gets in her way. Let's make every day feel like a holiday with Candy. Hey y'all, it's Candy. Welcome to Life's a Holiday, where we make every day feel like a vacay. Today, I want to share with y'all the most enchanted 4th of July that I ever had, which was at the Ojai Valley Inn and Spa, a magical place in itself, in Ojai, California. And I want to send a huge shout out to Jason and Jan for inviting us. And then, even better, I'm going to tell y'all what we did. We flipped around that vacay into a really fun 4th of July holiday at home. But first, I want to welcome back our Spa Brunch listeners and let y'all know what happened, why Spa Brunch is now life's a holiday. You're probably like, oh my God, like what happened? (laughs) Are we at the right show? What's going on? Well, a lot of things happened in my life and... It kind of, they precluded me from going to the spa as much as I used to. And so it just wasn't, I didn't have the opportunity to do the shows like I used to, where we go to the spa and I do the whole spa along thing. And don't worry, we are still going to be doing that. But what happened was really cool. It, it led me to this kind of aha moment where I realized that because of all these experiences and things that I, you know, put into myself and enriched myself with, that I was actually living like I'm on a holiday, even when I'm at home. And I was even using a lot of the techniques and tricks that I learned from going to these resorts and spas to make my life happier. So, ta-da! Every day is a holiday. <laughs> But I know life's not going to stop. It's still going to keep on handing us those curveballs and making us dodge to and fro. But I'm making it part of our mission here at Life's a Holiday to confront those things with style and fun and in the healthiest, best way we possibly can. And I don't know about y'all, but one of my favorite ways to combat those things is sometimes indulging in just a little bit of shopping. So I am super stoked to tell y'all that you can actually shop our shows. There will be a lookbook for each episode on lifesaholiday.com and we'll have links to like any products we talk about on the show, maybe some things that I found that were like inspired by the show, my outfit of the day. So head on over there. It'll just be another fun way for us to get to know each other better. I don't know about where y'all live, but June here in California has been super hot. We had this crazy heat wave at the beginning of the month where there was one day we were driving down the freeway and oh my God, literally the thermostat on the car said 120. It was just insane. You should have seen me like spraying sunscreen all over me constantly. I had my big hat, I had my sunglasses, and I had my little blanket over my lap to try to protect my legs. I was like, you know, hands off sun, stay off my skin. (laughs) But um, despite that day, still, you know, we get up into the 90s usually. And to kind of cool off, I do lots of of things with, especially like my skincare. And one of the things that I've been loving that has been helping me just cool off, and I think it's really been helping my skin, so yay, double double bonus, (laughs) are sheet masks. And I've been kind of like obsessed with learning about the Korean beauty um, routines and skincare lately. And one of the things they love are sheet masks. Now, I found these there by Jerleek, not Korean, but um, I found them at TJ Maxx. And I've had like other Jerleek products that I really love. Like I love their rose face mist. It's like so yummy. It just smells like spraying a rose garden on your face. And it feels all nice and cool. I keep that in the fridge too. So I saw these at TJ's and I thought, you know, I'm going to give these a whirl. And what I do is I keep them in the fridge and then I put like one on like maybe once a week when I'm like in the tub. And they are so awesome, y'all. I just had to tell you about them. Because not only is it like cooling and things when you put it on, but they are so luxurious. Like, they don't feel like some of the um, Korean masks that I've tried are paper, 
and they feel sort of papery. These are like cotton. It's almost like somebody took like a cotton ball and flattened it out and made it, you know, it's kind of fabric-y and stretchy. And they smell like lavender. And they also have like a little neck part. So if you've ever done like a sheet mask, usually they just go around your face and they kind of ne neglect your neck. And you know how everyone is always saying, well, your neck, you need to, you know, take care of your neck as well, which is true. <laughs> and so imagine my surprise. I took the mask out, unfolded it, and it had like a little neck. <laughs> and it's awesome. And you just, I just pop it on my face and, you know, soak for about 15 minutes in the tub with it. And I'll do that. And then I'll just like do my moisturizer. Like I'll skip my serum. I'll just let that all do its magic like overnight. And it's, they're just like really cooling. And like I said, I just love them. So I wanted to tell you all about them. And if you know, you can do that with any sheet mask. If you all have um, sheet masks at home or you have like, like some of the Korean ones, just keep them in your fridge. It makes it feel just a little more extra special. And if you're interested in trying the Drillique ones, something I forgot to tell y'all is that you are able to shop the shows. Yay! <laughs> bonus, bonus. I'll have a link in the show notes for you. And so you can, you can try it yourself. So that's one of the things I've been loving in June. And I've got actually a whole little video that I did on my June favorites. I was inspired by some of the YouTubers and I put my own YouTube video up on um, our, our YouTube channel, which is Candy Holiday. So if you want to meet me over there and uh, see some more of the ways I've been staying cool and just ways I've been indulging at home, just product-wise anyway, I'd be sure and check it out. I'd love to, to see you over there. But I know I promised to tell you about our 4th of July. We decided not to go to any of the great big firework displays or anything around LA because it just gets kind of crazy. You know, there's so much traffic. It can take like two hours to get back. And um, we, we were trying to figure out, well, what are we going to do instead? Because we wanted you know, we to do something to make it feel more special. And... We were talking, uh, the, we, my boyfriend Kevin, and I were talking, and I remembered that a couple years ago, we went to the Ojai Valley Inn and Spa, and actually one of his relatives worked there and gave us the inside scoop that they have a really great fireworks display there, and I was like, oh, take me there, please, <laughs> let's go. It was so great. I mean, Ojai Valley Inn and Spa is just a beautiful place anyway. It's got an amazing golf course and um, it's got like the spa is incredible. It's in its own separate building. It's all very Spanish style architecture and it's in this beautiful like valley, duh, Ojai Valley <laughs> setting and you just see mountains everywhere and it was just, it's just a fabulous location. So we went, didn't really know what to expect and it was so neat. It, it, it felt really intimate, even though there were a lot of people there. Of course, a lot of the people there were guests at the Inn and Spa, but there are also locals that go, and they do this firework display every year, and they had, like, an old-fashioned weenie roast. They had s'mores. Um, they had, of course, the firework display to music. And afterwards, you know, instead of everyone just, like, dashing out how, you know, usually what happens, the fireworks go, and everyone just you know, darts for their cars and tries to get out at once. Everyone just kind of hung out. And that's actually when they, they said the s'mores were after the fireworks. And everyone was just hanging out and chatting and having cocktails and just walking around. And it was just lovely. It felt like you were just away in some distant land. It, it just felt so wonderful. And it was it was just great. And of course, if you wanted, well, the spa was closed in the evening, but it would be a really great, like, 4th of July staycation to go, or vacation, staycation for me anyway, <laughs> to go there and, like, spend the night and the next morning have, like, you know, a facial or a pedicure or something fun in the spa. But, so we, we were talking about this, this 4th of July, and I said, why don't we go to a golf course? Why don't we find a place? locally 
because you know golf course courses are such great places to have fireworks since there are all that open space and it, it's you know nice and green and it's so it's not going to be as hot either because you know you're like on grass you're not on cement which like holds the heat and then just even when it cools off at night it still makes it kind of hot and it's not as comfy to stand on or you know spread out your picnic blanket and sit on if you want to do that so we um, had been to Griffith Park. I don't know if y'all know, I'm sure you've heard of Griffith Park here in LA, but they have um, a golf course there. And it's a really fun, I could say fun, but it is it's so fun, a golf course. It, it's because it's kind of, it's very retro. Like the clubhouse hasn't been redone like since the 70s. And I have a picture of the lockers for you. They are so groovy, groovy and great. They are like taupe and bright yellow. They're so cheery, you know, it's got that groovy kind of mosaic-y tile in the locker room floor, too, that kind of matches that. And, you know, it just, you feel like you've kind of gone back in time. And they also have a little restaurant there. And it's, you know, they serve, they serve a lot of unhealthy food, <laughs> you know, a lot of like fries and burgers. And those are all those things that golfers tend to always have when they take their, their breaks in between holes, don't they? I don't know why that is, but they also have um, omelets and really some healthy options. And the staff there is so friendly. It has a really great, the restaurant has a really great view of the golf course. And actually you can see the zoo because the zoo, the LA zoo is behind the golf course. So every once in a while through the bushes, you'll see like an elephant walking. <laughs> it's just, it's so neat. I just, I just love it there. And we decided to go there, not to go see fireworks, but we just went there the day before the 4th and hung out. They had like special cocktails. We went to the driving range and just, just kind of chilled and, you know, enjoyed the day. So if you'll pardon the expression, we had an absolute blast <laughs> hanging out there. We did find out there were a lot of golf courses around us that did have fireworks as well and clubs that were like open to the public. But we just kind of, you know, we just decided we'd stay home during the, on the actual 4th instead of going to go see the fireworks. But that doesn't mean, you know, for y'all, like if you decided like next year, you wanted to stay home and not travel or go into one of the, you know, bigger like places where you have, like usually most towns have like a central place where you go see fireworks, but you want to like go to a golf course instead and, and kind of hang out and make it more of a chillaxed, <laughs> intimate force. I found there are a lot of directories online where you can, you know, put in your location and they'll pull up all the golf courses around you and a lot of them even list events. So you can find out in advance where you want to go and plan your own little 4th of July on the, on the course. And I will put in the show notes on lifesaholiday.com the links to those directories, or you can just Google, just Google golf courses nearby. Especially the PGA ones tend to be nicer and have more events. So I think I would start with that. I would start with PGA golf courses. The only thing is, is I can't guarantee that they'll all have spas, <laughs> but wouldn't that be great to actually, you know, go actually before the fireworks and go have like, get like a, a really fun manicure or pedicure, like a 4th of July themed one. I've seen all these really great manis and pedis for the 4th on Pinterest <laughs> and that'd be so fun. Go have that and then um, hang out all decked out and enjoy the fireworks. But whatever you do or whatever you did this last 4th of July or any upcoming 4th of Jul Julys, I hope that you have a blast. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on our next holiday adventure. So that's it for today. Thanks for coming along and joining me. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't forget, you can shop the show and get the 411 on this episode at lifesaholiday.com. That's H O L L A D A Y.com. Meet Candy on Candy Holiday YouTube channel for more adventures.